about since this is your first episode of Good Idea, you do the intro. How about you kill me instead? <laughs> mm, I don't know. That doesn't sound fair. I've never killed anybody before. I think so. That I don't that know if I'm the man for the job. Wait, how many of us here have actually killed a man? Raise your hand. Hold on. Stop. Wait. Uh, I would hope that everyone should be raising their hand. Jeff, why is your hand down? George, why, would, why, why is, is your hand I, down? I, I, I just got is to the Google the Docs. For? Why have not? No, I don't care if you got to the Google Doc. George, are you paying any attention? George yes. and Jeff, have either of you killed a man? No, I not. but I do Wait, have the good idea. Okay. Are we talking oh, virtual? Fuck. No, no, for real. You have Listen, to. No. At one point in your life, you have to look a man in the eyes and take you his life. To, and it, it has to be a man, a I'm male identifying this man person down to the ground. A, a male identifying heart. adult human being. A male identifying adult individual. You have to look them in the eye, and then you have, you have, to, have say, to punch them in the face, and then Jeff? like kiss them gently on the forehead, and then it's over. What? No. <laughs> Is no, this no, no. an Assassin's Creed novella? Is that what he's doing? I don't like this. Is no, this an this Assassin's too, Creed fanfic? It's too sexual for me. Too mature rated. Uh, it's like good night. I was trying to friends. talk about killing people. You, you You're over here trying to talk about kissing. But I'm, I'm setting you down Ew. to your to your endless rest. Jeff, I think you're kind of quiet. Uh, I'm too quiet. Let me turn it up. If that isn't always the issue with Jeff. Uh, I know, right? Boop, 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 boop. Right? Oh, my God, Jeff. You're always too quiet, uh, boop, man. Boop, 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 boop. You know, if I was in charge of editing, I would edit every single last bit of this out. <laughs> Good thing <laughs> you're course. not yet. But that's <laughs> that's, what, take, that's, uh, that's what makes this show authentic. Come on. So what's my <laughs> loudness situation? It's better uh, now. You're fine now. I think it's okay. much better. It's going to take a lot of depression for me to hand over the editing of Good Idea to anybody. <laughs> that is a mood. Jesus. Right? Anyway, as we oh, were saying, I might, George I might and just Jeff, have to kill you for it. That's fair. <laughs> you, at, at some point in your life, you have to look another adult identifying person, an adult identifying male, uh, or an adult, ma ma an adult male identifying person. I'm trying so hard, guys. Someday we're going to get is... to where people are adult identifying persons. <laughs> yeah. They'll just we be will. giant we will. toddlers we'll walking get around. There. And we have to, we'll get like, there. I am know, adult identifying. Choice. No, I actually do identify as a child despite being 23 years old. Oh, are you an adult baby? <laughs> <laughs> oh. are you, or are you an adult teen baby? <laughs> I am an adult teen baby. Are you abstinence? I am an adult Are you teen baby. This you is die? my story. Are you abstinence? You're on good idea. Die? We try to have diverse Can I voices jump in? telling I, their stories. I feel like this is important. As an old person, the fact ah, that y'all are Jeff's all old. under 23 is unfathomable to me. You're so shockingly grown up, at least in this context. It's a depression. Uh, when I was that age, I, am I was. Over 23. Oh, I thought G you just says said you clarifying as they pour alcohol into a cup. It's a that, mug. That, that, it has. It is a mug. It is a Mothman mug. Yeah. Well, anyway, when I was in my twenties, I was barely playing a guitar and and drinking twenty four seven. Uh, I was not achieving anything. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> We're making beautiful G. magic. You're making G, art. this beautiful art. magic. You're making this G. audio art. Gee, look at this beautiful audio. Look at it. Look at it. You guys want to hear beautiful audio? Like, really, though? Yes. Like, really? Yes. Are you ready? Yes, stop! Do you want to hear Fucking the most annoying sound? Shut up and do the good <laughs> audio. <laughs> ah! <Yeah>. No! <laughs> Fucking good audio, guys. I ASMR, love that. That was terrible. <laughs> I loved every second of that. Oh, my God. Quick, somebody send that to, like, Skrillex or something. <laughs> Send it to Skrillex or something. He could remix it into something. He could make it into something fun. He could Skrillex it. Oh, yeah. Drop the bass. Drop the bass. Drop the bass. If you add, if you add some bubble noises to that, it's two walruses fucking. Uh, <laughs> or one walrus jerking off. I'm not sure. I don't know. All, all that matters is that either way, it's thick. How many C's? So how many C's? As you three know, I am. Am I the newest person here? You are the newest member of Good Idea. You're not the newest, newest member of the network. Guests. 
I am we the newest so member of that Good we Idea. Got elevated. And so I don't know what we do here. Is this just like four ADHD have, motherfuckers doing what we're doing right now? Because I am fine. Pretty with much. That. Have you seen now? Have you? Hell I have yeah. a question. I have a question for you. Because that, gee, do you see now why I asked you here? Do you yes. see why I asked you to this to this <laughs> yes. call? Nobody can uh-huh. criticize something and smile as much as G. Right? No, it's, it's, good. it's good. So good at it. We need G here because G is wonderful. And that's why we have G on this Aww. call. And also because we're all going to sit here and we're all going to bullshit back and forth. And all I want to talk about is the fact that Jeff and George, give me one fucking second before we move on any further. Neither of you has killed a man and both of you told me you had during your interview. Oh, shit. You lied. I s- I you said a virtual boy. Perjury. We do our interviews under oath. I killed okay, a virtual I'm let George boy. Go. George, Killing I have a, a, a follow up that's really count. strong. That but is no, you, you neither a first... man nor a human. The it's a machine. It gave you a headache and you threw it against the ground. What you've done by killing a virtual boy is committed a sin. You committed a sin. Whoa, Nintendo whoa, recalled all of those now? forever ago. <laughs> I did not hear about these new sins. <laughs> Yeah, it was in the patch 2.420. George and I have only killed virtual persons. You've uh, only killed virtual we persons. We had to, you know, because you had that question on the questionnaire, like, I don't know about George, but I felt uh, extreme pressure to kind of, you know, bump up my resume on that one. So I just kind of went, oh, he'll never ask about this. This is like just a joke question. <laughs> You're Turns right. out it was really Aiden important. never asked about it. It was me. <laughs> It was G and who is the secret ruler of Sinister of Parent Company. Oh, no. <laughs> G I'm, is actually I'm in charge sinister. and has to kill I'm both of you. I'm the sinister of Sinister Parent Company. You are the sinister of Sinister Parent Company. And as the sinister of Sinister Parent Company, you have stuck your fingers into all of our pies. Wait, so you wait, must kill wait. us. Are you ready? What? The yes. Repo Man. <laughs> da 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 does the yeah, would you like to know how spleen? much I hated that musical? <laughs> would you like my spleen? Why have do you it? have to keep talking every time I drink wine? Every time there's <laughs> wine in my mouth about to go down my throat, it is about to gee, come we, out my nose. We can't start talking until you stop talking. So when the wine is in your mouth, <laughs> and I say this with so much love, G, because that's I get that same note. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, we love it gee, here. I don't know if. I don't know if you got the same questionnaire as we did. Apparently you had executive control over that. Whatever. Uh, did you answer the question about spit takes? Because it was in there. It said, can you deal with them? Because they'll happen three or four times a show. I can deal show. with them as long as the wine is less than 15% alcohol. Because once yeah, you and get you 15% are- alcohol coming out your nose, you're going to die. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> I do want to know, though, G... With with that, when you hold on, what are you laughing about, Jeff? Do you have? <laughs> gee, what? I, here's what I need to know. He's got Here, there's nothing. That there's nothing much fucking funny about this. Hold on. Hold on. Kill you. Hold, or is it like no, over the course of many true. podcasts? There's nothing funny about that, guys. Guys, if you snort anything over 15 percent alcohol through your nose it will kill you first of all second of all g hold on g Mm -hmm. i need to know do you have enough microphones for every spit take per episode you have to have a lineup of like five mics plugged in in and ready to go Oh, you're going to ruin all of them yes. with spit takes one by one. It's very, very How important because we need the spit? audio of the mics yes. getting ruined. Yes, it's I have for the spent art. over five thousand dollars on microphones for this podcast. <laughs> okay, I'm really glad that As you spent over five thousand dollars on microphones. This is why black dragons shouldn't host podcasts because they're always spitting acid on their microphones. That's only certain um, kinds of dragons. That's hey, fine. why are you calling me out like this? Nobody right. knew I was a dragon before this. Nobody knew G I'm was a, a dragon. Nobody knew G was in charge. I'm a Jeff's spirit holding of his truth. Breasts. I have to. I have to deliver the gospel to the masses. And the fact that I'm now podcasting with a literal dragon, it, people need to know in case I get acid on me or whatever. The public God. needs Where to know. Jeff from. was Wait, not Jeff touching his breasts. I now know he was just touching his heart. The the melting acid the or the or the drug acid. Which one? 
Yes. It's, it's there's the a big drug. difference. It's the drug. Yes. yes. And the melting. <laughs> it's Is my both. chair squeaking? And you too are going much? to Should have the worst it? trip of your fucking life, man. <laughs> the worst trip <laughs> of your fucking life? Man. Are you saying that your acid, like, if it gets into the nostrils, <laughs> you'll trip before you die? Sorry. Wow. Sorry, that one hit a little late. It wow. took a little while for that one to dissolve in my system. <laughs> Listen. Are you sure you guys aren't all on acid? Because I know I'm sober. I really, I really wish that our listeners could have seen Jeff's face whenever I said that. Because... The widening of the eyes that I saw was inhuman. It, no, it was <laughs> so fun the worst with my trip face ever. to avoid laughing because if I laugh too much, people won't hear y'all's genius. You know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, my hey, face does one. a lot of reddening. Jeff's face reddening at the sight of our goof is a good idea. Is it good idea? is a brain trust your brain can trust. It is also a comedy podcast where we find creative, actionable solutions to your real-life problems. I am Aiden Kinsella. I'm G. Wait, I have a last name, G. Too. Daly. You yeah, know the last that, name. That's my last name. I'm George Diaz. George Diaz. G. Daly. <laughs> is that enough for one podcast? Three brilliant geniuses? With incredible no. goofs? Is that enough for one? No, one it's podcast? not. We need another one. Oh, shit. Another one. Hey, guys. Another one. Hey, what's up? Introduce Yo, yourself. I'm Jeff Richardson. That's the so, top head. The top head? That's the top head. The top head. Just touch the head on <laughs> yeah, top. Just touch the head on top the, if you want to get to Jeff. You're the head on top in our, in our, um, in our art. If oh, you want to get to Jeff. Touch okay. the head on top. I'm the head on the bottom because I'm a bottom. <laughs> G's the head on the bottom. If you want to get to G, rub the head on the bottom. <laughs> what are we like a sexy genie bottle now? <laughs> yes. Genie bottle. Ask anyone who knows me well enough to know I'm a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> who knows me well enough to know. <laughs> wow. Oh god! That's, look, there's a lot look, about that. I need you guys to look at how much wine I've already had tonight. Okay. Oh, so much wine! I oh, can't figure out bottle. the scale. Like, what if you're a really tiny person? That could be like one of those little guys from I'm, the from the I'm store. I'm five foot eight. I'm five foot eight. I'm okay. sure. <laughs> then that's a Gee, regular that's so size much wine, buddy. Wine? No, this is a liter. That's oh, so much wine. Okay, you're you're going hard. Yeah. I have another one. No, on wine the is not hard. Ready. Wine is wine is a soft liquor. Baby. Uh, but no. if you snort baby, it no. or blow baby, through no. it via wine is a baby, soft this liquor. This wine is ten percent no, no, alcohol. No, no. You do not nothing. smoke the alcohol. That's if you that's smoke no, the that's alcohol, noise. it goes straight to your brain. And that's that's, that's no nothing. Good. I only drink three hundred percent alcohol <laughs> straight from the solo cup. It's, I mean, it's safe to come out of the nose at least. I don't know about going in the in the full snort. No, I yeah, I mean, it's black dragon acid. That's the problem. If it goes through my nose, it burns the whole thing. Do you know that people put alcohol in their butthole and don't die? God, it's crazy. It. Jeff, I yeah, do yeah, know. Yeah, I know. Yes, I, I do know. know. I've proven you so. this many times in my own room. Stop. We I'm need kidding. To I have not. I'm this. kidding. This is a bit. We I need was to a bit. talk we about this. We don't. It wasn't real. No, no, no. Not that. What? In the, the fact that people do that. Yeah. It's called wizards. You sort the blue, does it? Can you get drunk you from that? You said, oh, the dark wizard. Okay, so I've only... <laughs> the joy of the former realm of Ephesius. <laughs> Wait, Master stop. This is very important. I need to know if you can get drunk from that, because if I don't have to taste vodka, <laughs> but I can put it up Gee, my ass... Yes, yes, no. yes. It's yes. Extremely you get extra dangerous, super Gee. special drunk I, from that. You're, you get very extra drunk. Put it on a tampon, soak a tampon in it, yes! put it right up there. <laughs> God. Okay. Okay. Wow. Gee, I support okay. you. Do I have to be the logical, like, sensible, rational voice on this program? Because I'll do it. <laughs> no, That's my you thing. don't. I'm no the one, one has to be. Any can sort be a bad is idea. It's extremely dangerous. You could Jeff. die. The the blood vessels in your rectum, I nearly killed them, are so uh, uh, open. Uh, uh, 
that they as let long all as it doesn't go through your nose into your bloodstream it gets to your brain super fast it can no it can silence your heart please don't do it Wait, hang as on. long as it hang doesn't on. go through your nose it's fine hang on stop <laughs> if i am a person who can handle i say handle very loosely Three bottles okay, of well, wine. Well, that was a liter. Three Is that a handle? Three bottles of wine in one night. <laughs> Could I butt chug some no. vodka? <laughs> no. G? No. G? Are you Jim no. Morrison G. at age 27? Probably not a great idea. <laughs> Are, uh, you know, that was actually, you know, he joined the 27 that club that it, year, too. I did not think that I would make it to the age of 20, and here I am at 23, so I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my life anyway. I'm you're making well. audio arts. You're making audio art. Gee, That's what you're doing. You're These making audio art. Hard, did you hear that ASMR you did earlier? Wait, this one? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Stop jacking off into the microphone. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's websites for that where you can get paid for it. Don't do it here. I link me one. <laughs> Do you really what? want that? The listener might be wondering at this point, <laughs> what kind of mm. show is this? Mm. It's. I believe this show is called Good Idea. Listen, and this show is called we've Good said Idea. So far, has been a fantastic fucking idea. No, it has not. Legally, You're, we have I to say you were no. Going to say a fantastical oh, fucking lie, and I was like. <laughs> I am not going to be held legally responsible for whoever puts <laughs> alcohol up their butt. I'm not. Also, George, you could not be held legally responsible. It's also, only bad if it goes through your nose. Nothing bad would ever happen. Actually, can't that's be false. Held legally responsible for putting this podcast in your butthole either. That is also <laughs> deadly. Is it? Is that another user door the blue you know reference? What? You know what would happen if you put this podcast up your butt? The noise would come out your mouth like a speaker. Mm-hmm. Imagine a spit take from your butthole. <laughs> That's uh, diarrhea. Yeah, I was about to say, isn't that diarrhea? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, you did a no. bad idea. A you brain a looks kind of like a butt. So if we put good idea in our butt, our butt will just look more like a brain. <laughs> Scarecrow, Scarecrow, that's not where the brain is supposed to go. You know how people talk about how alien greys might just be like humans from the future that have evolved to need less body or whatever, so they have more room for their brain? Maybe there's a future human with just big ass brains on their butts. Is that why my butt is so big? <laughs> oh my god, I my really butt. Thought, is so I really thought, I'm gonna be honest, my I really butt? thought it was the oatmeal cream pies, but if it's my brain, that makes a lot of sense. Well, Actually, what people don't know about this is Little Debbie snack products are actually <laughs> the only pe thing people eat in the future oh, to shit. provide the fat for the big brain. That is it still so sponsored much. by Will Ferrell? What? Does Will Ferrell do a, a Little Debbie thing? Have you not seen Guys, his I'll late night? Right <laughs> oh, Aiden's gone. You'll be back. So Will Ferrell advertising uh, brain but food. Uh, I wonder what that would look like. Well, he did dress up as a little Debbie, I think, on a uh, Conan. On Co who watches Conan? I did for a oh, time, man. but then I just kind of <laughs> got out show. of late night. Once it went to TBS, well, I was like, it's just too many Hang numbers. On. Why are you? Even I have awake a DVR. On? Why are you awake? <laughs> I have a DVR. I can record stuff. You record? So you so you chose Conan? Hey, Conan is hey. still good. Hold on. Conan is cool. Conan here and there. He's, he's gamer approved. Hell. He's in Death Stranding. No, he's in, he's Conan gamer approved. Conan is still you funny. Watch. Conan is, it, Conan's show is something that you watch whenever you have insomnia and there is nothing else on but Antique Erroneous. Show. No, no. Erroneous. That's the George Lopez the show. The first thing I ever DVR'd. I didn't say, hang on. I didn't say he wasn't good. I didn't Conan, say he wasn't good. A Saturday Night Live. I just uh, said the Daily Show. No, no, no. Hang on. I didn't say he wasn't good. All I said was you don't watch it during the daytime. 
false. <laughs> you can't record that shit. You can't George. watch it at a different time than midnight. George, speak reason. I watch it at noon. <laughs> yes, I would come home and you watch it monsters. after work from the night before. Yeah, man. Yeah. Or That's what I did last week tonight with John Oliver. Absolute fucking monsters. <laughs> I don't get HBO. <laughs> Gee, so I gotta watch it on YouTube. <laughs> like, it, nobody watches anything when we make it. So, like, just think about that. <laughs> what do you nobody watches, what do you mean? Nobody watches any of what? Unless Late you night shows stream, in the daytime. Nobody watches you make a podcast, right? So, well, like, I mean, we're the Conan live. in the DVR. So, wait, we're in Death Stranding? We're in a Kojima game? I don't know what that is. I. George, I told you when you signed up for this and told me you'd kill the man that you were in a video game. <laughs> I thought it was in a Rockstar game, not a Kojima Amazon simulator. No, no, no. It's an Iraq star game, not a Rockstar game. Uh, I don't want to be in a Guitar Hero game. You know who's in a <laughs> Rockstar is the guy that ch the journalist that chucked his shoe at George W. Bush. That guy was in a Rockstar. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. That's a that flash is game. Like one of the worst insults I'm, you can do in the Muslim world. And that's actually a flash game. Disappointed in you. Right up at Bush. What'd you say? What? I said I'm disappointed with that joke. Mostly uh, uh, because I the, didn't come up with it. Oh, with the a rock star. <laughs> yeah. This is yes! good. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> that's a good bit. We could follow that, but I'm worried about you know because none of us are from the Middle East. Like it could go to a weird. Area. But G no, is I'm from the Middle G West. Is Native American, so we're pretty much yeah. fine. I'm Native American. And George, <laughs> wait, was that George a bad joke? White either. Fine. Was that a bad joke? <laughs> this is the most racist reason to to <laughs> add representation for your show, so you can no, get Jeff, away Jeff, with Jeff, telling Jeff, racist jokes about Jeff, other that's countries. <laughs> Jeff, that's the bit. The bit is that <laughs> what I'm saying is ridiculous. <laughs> Terrible. Are, are we now canceled? Did you say terrible? <laughs> I, like, okay. I think you mean I think you mean arable. No, <laughs> you're Aiden not is now to canceled. Do that. You can't do Aiden that. Aiden is now canceled. Hold Why on. not? It's Guys, just words. Hold on, that actually is a really good name for a podcast. We should <laughs> talk to our friends that speak Arabic or whatever. An Arab Which history friends? podcast the Stanley, called Arable. The Stanley Arable. Do we have friends that speak Arabic or are we racist? Because I'm pretty uh, sure we're racist. No. Well, if we had friends that spoke Arabic, it would be fine, right? <laughs> um, I'm sure I have one. All right, everybody take five. Go on Twitter. Make an Arabic friend. Oh, my God. No, uh, <laughs> wait. Can you be no. Arabic? I think you have to be Arabian. And even that is odd because there's only really Saudi Arabia. Hmm. But the Arabian it's, Peninsula itself, though, man. Yeah, Yemen, Djibouti. I own my wait, mistake, and I apologize I uh, love that for my uncultured use of the term Arabic to describe human beings. Is it? Wait, well, is that I not mean, a thing? I was just asking. I don't know for sure. That's how. Well, I think it's Arabian. Is it or is it Arabic? I think it's Arabian people. Oh, I'm sure we will get tweets. Arab. I'm sure we will. Oh no, it's it's singular. It's Arab. You just say Arab yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We figured it out. Arab okay. people. Thank you, Katie. Are okay. we sure? Look at this. Because, like, Katie, come say hi. <laughs> She's got a headphone in. Hi. 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 No, you gotta Hello. be like six inches away from the Hi. microphone. No, six inches away six from inches the mic. No, this that's like six feet. <laughs> okay. <Hi. laughs> so, no, no, that's still like here? three feet. No, no, okay. Look where I look okay. on, like my show, here. Okay. on my show. On my show we would Katie. we would say that's here. a Steve six this feet. This is this is fucking fantastic podcasting, you guys. And people Absolutely. say Mulch has terrible uh not Mulch, Professor has terrible uh microphone etiquette. Okay, she's Professor. done introducing herself, I guess. That's Katie, everybody. Thanks, hey, Katie. Katie. Hey, Katie. Katie's the best. She's All right. great. Is that your intern? Is that our intern? Yeah, Katie's our intern. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Katie's there doing your laundry, uh, checking your planner, and uh, washing windows, because that's how you treat an intern in the, in the 90s, at least. No, that still happens, especially in radio. That is not how you treat I an intern in the 90s. If you're treating an intern in the nineties like that, then that intern is probably not an intern. 
Mm-hmm. She'd be amazing. I don't know. Just to be Jeez. safe, Katie, can you wash my windows? Are you doing a joke about how they're in their 90s? Because 90-year-old intern is a fucking rad show. <laughs> isn't that the one? Isn't that that documentary with fucking Owen Wilson and uh, Vince Vaughn? And, and, and Vince Vaughn? The internship? It was, it was an okay movie. It was okay. Is that the one about No, that Google? documentary. No, no, it's not a documentary. It's a comedy yeah. movie. No, it's about it's about it's a documentary about Google. You see, George, it's, the, it's literally a documentary about Google. What are you talking about? <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> George. I didn't remember a comedy. <laughs> George, Vince Vaughn worked at Google with Owen Wilson. George, keep in mind that most of what As we interns. do on this show is gonna be bullshit. No wait, so, no wait, like, no wait, no. Hold on, hold on. No, I'm thinking of Watch Dogs 2 DLC. Hold on. Never mind. Oh Watch God. Dogs 2 DLC. That's a comedy movie called The Internship. Now you're on our page. <laughs> this, we're talking it. about the documentary film The Internship featuring Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson. <laughs> yeah, I got my I got my internships mixed up. My bad. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I spent a lot more time with the DLC. It's okay. <laughs> There was thought, a show or a movie, right, called The Intern, and it was controversial in some way. Was it about fucking your intern? No, 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 no. It was no, the one no. where was, they that was like, the founder, and it was a Kim Jong Un or something. I'm super focused on fucking interns right now. You know who loved doing that was Bill Clinton. Me. <laughs> who doesn't yes. love doing it? Bill Clinton definitely <laughs> loved doing it. Bill Clinton loved doing that. Thing. Well, he no, I don't. Thing. He did not have sexual relations with that woman. Oh, that's Just true. He did not. I did not have, have sexual relations with that woman. <laughs> Just oral. Motherfucking <laughs> liars! No, nope. I White feel like House. nobody's hearing Just say my you put a perspective cigar in your pussy, on this, bruh. Just say is was. Is you know what I'm saying? Like, like why couldn't presidents just tell the truth and keep their jobs? And and we could all move on with our lives. But no, they got to lie. No, I will. I need a president that's up there telling it like it is. Telling it that's like what it I is. want. Yeah. I want a Wait president a who tells it like it is. Jackson. You're, you're, right. you're getting a little bit into Trump territory. Like it is. Aiden, 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 Hit you're getting a little bit into Trump territory. Hit I know. The that's, I, I, no, I want a president who tells it like it is. Tells it like it is. That's important, right? <laughs> Truth. The president we have now opens his mouth and bullshit pours out. We need no, a president. No, I don't like the president that we yeah, have I now. Need, I, I want... need a president who will show us a documentary of, of uh, Area 51 footage. Yes. Okay. Bernie yes. Sanders. A president it's that'll Bernie be like, Sanders. Bernie, Sa yeah, Bernie Sanders. Yeah, Bernie Sanders would show us that. Hold on. Business has to stop. You know, I don't want reality kind of TV star president. I want... Bernie I want Sanders? a stand-up comedian white male president you. from the 90s who will tell it like I, it wait, is. Hang on. You know what I want? I want an angry Jewish man. I think Jews an angry good. Jewish man would, would make a, a really good president. president. Right? Bernie Sanders right? would no, make no, no, a no, good no, president. Yes. No, no, no. We We're have a Mexican we have an old Mexican grandma. Yes. <laughs> I love this. Mm. She tells it okay, like it and is. Can she yes. what now what happens when she threatens Kim Jong un with the flip flop though? She's like half of the uh, time we use our drones. Hang on. He'll we back down the wedding, but Aiden. you know we got to do it. Wait, I you have know? a question. Is this yes. a nuclear flip flop we're talking about? <laughs> this is a nuclear flip flop we're talking about. You have to be correct. It's called the nuclear chancla. Ah, chancla. Get it right. Sorry, yes, can, right. how do we pronounce that? I'm sorry. It's chancla. Chancla. C H A N C L A. Chancla. Chancla. chancla? Yes. Si. Is there, there an we go. Bravo, in there? bravo. Yeah, Chancla. No, it's an NC. Like Chancla. North Carolina. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I know Chancla. how to how to make the C go into the L. It's a little different from the K, right? Right. Subtle. Chancla. Yes. Chancla. Well, see, what I like about this this Mexican grandma president <laughs> is first of all, first you know, female hold on, hold on. president. Just, Mexican you know American. Who it should be. You have no, to be born you know in America to be president. It doesn't have to be a Mexican president. It could be a a, a, a Latinx president. Yes. But you okay. Know yeah. I just want to make that clear. You it, know, you got to be born in America be, still. It has to be Rita Moreno. Okay. Tell me more about who this is. I don't know. Who I this recognize is. that Rita name. Is? 
But I want to make sure the, that I'm fully informed. Uh, da, 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 in America, right? Yes, yes, that's her. Oh. Okay, okay yes. so have you guys seen West Side Story? Um, I've only played a suite of a uh, West Side Story and in, in okay. a, a medley. Have you seen of it. One Day at a Time? Nope, I'm not a musical person. Well, one Day at a Time's that, not a that's musical. That's a TV it's show, a TV right? Show. Okay, okay. You're I'm assuming I've West Side seen story. neither West Side okay. so- Story. Ooh, ooh, but, geez, this, is great. this is great. Oh, oh, okay. But I have okay. listened to Wet Fly Story on the Off Book Musical podcast. Rita Moreno is the main character, the main female character in West Side Story. The basically the Juliet. I have only seen it like once, so I don't remember what her name okay, is. Okay, I understand. No, I completely understand what you're talking. Oh, I know plenty she's about Maria? West Side Story. And, Yes, and she's Rita the Marino. grandmother. Oh, I was thinking she was the uh, what's the name of the lady who does the like salsa dancing and she says the song about America? Uh, hang on, Maria. No, isn't it Maria? I'm googling things, you guys. Let's okay. Gee, now we know who on our Wikipedia, show does that. Let's uh, find out West Side Story and tell George and Aiden about it. The plot. Let's just do the plot. Let's not do. Okay, you know Romeo and Juliet. That's West Side Story. Yeah, there you go. I know. Yeah. I don't need to have West Side Story explained to me. Stop this. <laughs> yeah, we, I kind of know what it is. It's, it's 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 a better version of Romeo and Juliet. We it get is. It. We get it. And then and it then really and then Alan Menken did a Bronx Tale, which it's is also better, better. It's a better slash Latinx version of West Side Story. Isn't Steven Spielberg doing a of, remake of Romeo and Juliet? I said words. Isn't isn't Steven Spielberg doing a remake of a West Side Story? Steven Spielberg needs to shut the fuck up and sit the fuck down. Well, that is that actually is a really good point, G. And I didn't think about that. The fact that West Side Story is specifically a Latinx retelling, uh, or not, re- like, yeah, I guess kind it's, of retelling of Romeo is. and Juliet. Whereas Bronx and Tale is like lots of white people in it. Yeah. <laughs> Anything is better with the with with the Latinx uh, with a lat with a more Latinx stuff. Valid. Hmm. Speaking of Latinx like? musicals in the anything Heights, is better uh, with more Latinx stuff. Agreed. That's yes. that's valid. I think that that's. I, I, have 100%. you been to Taco Bell? Proves it. Taco Bell is the whitest Ugh. thing to hit America. <laughs> Aiden, Aiden, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta take you to bread. the uh, authentic Mexican place that I always go to in town. Yes, you do, Bro. George. I'm. Gee. My job on this podcast is to say the most dumbass the thing man. I can yeah. think to say yeah, I see, you see, in I any given it. moment. Your guys' job is to be my advising board. If I G. can be uh, uh, a grown-up president that tells it like it is for a second, Rita Moreno yes. was Anita, Bernardo's girlfriend, uh, not Maria, yes. Bernardo's younger sister. Correct. She's the one that sings uh, something, something in America. The song she's, is called America. Right. Okay. May, I, so may I make a suggestion? Rita Moreno is the, the vice yes, president please. in West Side Story. George. For the uh, vice president, it could, it could be, uh, what's what's her name? Uh, Beatrice, the person who plays uh, Rosa yes! in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Stephanie Beatrice. Yes. Yes. I'm into I it. I agree. Have you heard her normal voice? Mm-hmm. Can I hear She's why adorable. she should be the vice president? Because we un- I, I understand the the Rita Marino. Okay, let me tell you uh, why. Let me tell you why. Are you ready? Okay. Because she's hot as fuck. That's fair. She pulls off leather jackets really well. We need that. We already had Joe Biden, but I we can't have him as vice president gay again. Crush on her. She's amazing. Eighty-seven years young, Rita Moreno. So in yes. three years. <laughs> Could I also be a, have a ninety-year-old president. I also have a gay Perfect. crush on Rita Moreno. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, I think man. that that's fair. Oh, she that's would fair. be a great sugar mommy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I've always said. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Jeff, when you and I met, didn't I say that? that this is like over a year ago. I think at this make, point. Uh. uh that Rita uh, Marino would make a great a great sugar mommy, yeah. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Of oh, of course, yes. It's like the first thing I said. I think I said you had a nice voice, and then I said that about Rita Moreno. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Definitely. when did you change your answer? I thought you said something about uh, Carrie Fisher. Ooh. Carrie Fisher. I would never say anything about Carrie Fisher. You know, you know, that answer probably changed when Carrie Fisher uh, Carrie left Fisher us. Died. Yes. <laughs> 
Um, I mean, yeah, I she think when she one died, she became because, a lot less hot. Because she's she became like one a with lot the less force. desirable whenever she's a corpse, unfortunately. Whenever she's a corpse, I'm not as into her. Right. Like, <laughs> I don't know if anyone here is into that, but, you know, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I am judging. Well, on the full sort of moon, I am Carrie that you're Fisher when she is no longer about. a corpse. Yes, Carrie Fisher returns to us on the full moon. Every uh, full moon, moment, which is how they filmed moment. those Star Wars scenes Correct. after she passed away. Correct. So, wait, hang on. I have a question then. How did they film she the She looks scene? weirdly zombie-like in the third one, though. How Doesn't she? Did, how I've seen how a few did they clips. film the scene in, uh, in Rogue One where she... Oh, was that was a lunar eclipse. That was a lunar eclipse. That was a lunar, lunar eclipse. eclipse. Oh, okay. I understand. George, that's why, that's why he was go. all janky. There we go. George figured it out. That's okay. why he was I all was, janky. I was actually concerned for a second there. No, yeah. Hey, do you guys want to answer a prompt? Hell yeah. I'm just looking at uh, him yes. now. Yes. Sure, why not? Jeff, do you have one you're looking at right now? Uh, so um, I'm not sure who this is from, but uh, I'll read it verbatim. Help. My brother won't go to a clam bake with me. That's How Bradley's. Do I can Sorry, what? It's That's Brad? Bradley's. I'm sorry. Read it again. <laughs> How do I convince him? He says lobsters are big bugs and gross. I I have an answer for this. Are you ready? I'm ready. He's fucking right. <laughs> yes. <gasps> I'm glad somebody's saying. I that. agree. All right. Hey. This, okay. So this lobsters is Ted Berkowitz. Tasteless. Let me paint a picture. Teenage. Pale white boy. So you, so Thick. you when you were younger? Yeah, but <laughs> like he he's cooler than I was and so, more conservative than me. So Aiden, this don't is fire the me. First time in the world that a white teenage white boy has been correct. <laughs> correct. Yeah. What, no, I was never correct. That was another thing that no, was I'm different about, between me I'm and, about and Ted Berkeley. Bradley's brother, yeah. I'm telling you. Well, yeah, no, but back when I was Bradley's brother's age, faster. I don't think I knew anything about my sexuality or gender identity or anything about that. So I was definitely, that was one thing. I was not right. <laughs> I didn't know shit, man. Well, I think these young dudes are getting it right. They're not going to bake clams or eat big bugs. They're no gonna big do bugs, cool no clams. Stuff. Here's the other Only issue cool. I have. Hey, with hey, this. hey. Bugs are a delicacy in some parts of the world, dog. No, yeah, well, on. fuck the that. These kids know what this. they're talking about. Bugs are fucking gross, man. <laughs> they nutritious, I though. I have man. another issue with this, you guys. I want to hear the issue. What the actual fuck is a clam bake? What is a who, clam bake? Who the is fuck it a clam smoking pot? Is, is it a clam Clams smoking pot? Clams are supposed to be served raw on a fucking cracker. No. You slurp that no. motherfucker down like what? a little That's booger. That's oysters. You don't do that Ugh. with clams. Oh, you should oysters? not waste your weed on getting clams high. Stop it. Stop <laughs> but it. That's what makes Stop them special. It. Oh, oh, it's not I didn't good. realize. It doesn't make the pearl grow go... faster. Hang I on. didn't realize Bradley wanted to go to a, a like van and smoke weed with his brother. Do of you course. Guys he not... doesn't. Get those big bugs out of the van. That is terrible. Do you guys not eat all of your seafood raw? Because I do. Um, shrimp raw is not a good thing. I don't eat shrimp. Shellfish shrimp of any the, kind can be dangerous. Shrimp is the bug of the raw. sea. I don't eat bugs, y'all. Hey, I don't eat hey. bugs. Shellfish are I bugs. I don't eat bugs. G doesn't eat bugs. I stand bugs. shrimp. I stand shrimp. I don't eat shrimp. crawfish. I don't eat shrimp. I don't eat crab. I don't eat lobster. Because crab and lobster yes. are tasteless. Those are and bugs. And they're only an excuse yes. to consume butter. Yeah, but there's lots of other ways to consume butter, George. Listen. Exactly. Stop. Yeah, it's not even the best way to consume out bread. Of the fucking bucket. Hey, you Stop. know what else That's is a butter delivery butter. system? Stop. I just get a spoon and like scoop that shit out. Just some butter. Yeah, that's good too. Oh, you know. could put butter on top okay, of I can't you know, believe it's like, not butter. Make I'm a joking? butter I can't believe it's not butter sandwich. I do not recommend at <laughs> Y'all y'all really think I'm joking? Whenever I was little, those country crock fucking buckets of butter, I used to eat those straight. <gasps> oh god. No, I think that's I valid because those part in particular taste like really good. Yeah, they were so. I yeah. No, no, no. They had so, they had probably a shitload of salt, salt. in them, and they were super the whipped. Salt. So there was and like very wanted, little I content. Salt. Of, I needed Jesus the salt. Christ. How, also, how yeah. yeehaw are you two? I got the country crock so I'm much. I'm from Texas, motherfucker. Uh, but check this Eastern out. Eastern or cannot, Western? 
You my grandma loves not. Cracker Barrel, motherfucker. This is so important for the listener. I need to make this clear, y'all. Uh, a Surgeon General's wording. You cannot mix butter with, I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> or <laughs> fucking antimatter explosion shit, will huh? happen. Don't do it. It also <laughs> tastes actually, That was the right timing. That's actually what they used to uh, make uh, uh, Fat Man and, and Little Boy, the uh, two nukes for World War II. Wait, hang on. I need to go back to what George asked me real quick. Yeah, okay. What Rewind it. Take Eastern it back. Eastern or what? Western? Yeah, Eastern or Western Texas. It's very important. North. Ew. I'm from North. G's I'm from, from Dallas. the hat. G's from Ew. the hat. G's from, from the hat. I'm from the, fr- the, I'm from the fucking projects, man. The top nah, part of Texas is like Border a hat. Border towns are busts. <laughs> mm-hmm. The top part of Texas is no, like I a did. hat. I went to college in West Texas, though. I uh, I have uh, some family over in uh, Eagle Pass, Texas, a uh, small border That's town. That's great. I want to talk about how Texas looks like it has a big hat on it and how G <laughs> is from the hat. Yeah! I'm not from the hat. I'm not from the hat. Dallas is G's actually G's from closer. the hat. Dallas is actually closer to like Arkansas than it is to like Oklahoma. Isn't it called Arkansas? No. I'm pretty sure it's called Arkansas. I am confusion. <laughs> I think it's called Arkansas, and I think you live in the hat. Improv is hard, y'all, because we just have to accept hat. now this wild premise that Texas has a hat. And it I does. Don't Texas like has a hat, has and a it's a pin. bigger hat it's than any pin. other hat it's has ever a been. Fucking panhandle! Who taught you that it was called a hat? I oh, taught no, you that it was like hat. I said you were from the hat of Texas it's because this is a jokes handle. podcast where we like make a pin. jokes. You hold a pan. Gee, Gee it's Lincoln's a hat. It's a hand. I would never hold a pan. It's Fuck important you. to remind the listener it's now Lincoln's that the panhandle is a type of hat from Texas. No, that's true. And my intern does all of my panhandling. Are you three going I'm to out. fucking Bye. dream me about Bye. Texas? That, because that I am was ready terrible. to defend I'm out. my motherfucking state. This country is Texas and it's 49 bitches. So if you all <laughs> want to fight about Texas, what? we can fight about Texas. I'm calling Texas. you out, Alaska. Get fucked. Gee, I can't hear you over my deep dish pizza. <laughs> George, yo, bring Is me some of that. Is your pizza wearing a hat? You I don't what? think George, so. Hang on, George, George. You know what? You may be Mexican, but I've had better Mexican food than you. Are you going to disrespect my grandma like that? Huh? Huh? Oh, you going to disrespect I am, I'm my grandma's Texas, homemade tamales? Cause I didn't know they Texas. were going right to your mama. That is rough. That is a no. She went straight. Move. She went over my mother and went straight to my grandmother. <laughs> oh, dang, dang. I'm sorry, dude. You see, the older- and then your grandmother pulls out the choclo. Uh, chocla. 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 Out. Chocla. Get out. Aiden, get is out. Is that a sandal that you throw at someone? Aiden, be gone. Yes, it is. What? It's called a chocolate. It was a callback, George, because I pronounced it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's chokla, right? Yeah, it's chokla. <laughs> oh, God, my you ears. Put your mouth. <laughs> chokla. If you're weird like that, nothing against feet. I, I really like. Uh, I stuff. really liked this emo girl in my high school. She wore a chokla. <laughs> <laughs> I said this right around the neck, you guys, so that you can right around the neck correctly from now on. That girl was freaky, y'all. She'd walk around the schools, uh, the hallway, and just and just ask you if you you want her to put your chokla in her in your mouth. It was pretty gross, but people did it. Really gross, and I didn't understand why she wanted to put her chokla in my mouth. Hang on, didn't make any sense. Say that word. She's like, it makes it more wet for my neck. But it was middle school, word. so we kind of felt like peer pressure and stuff. Sorry, Say what, you Say the word again. Say it again. Wait, the way that again. is correct or the way that we've been fucking it up on purpose? No, say the way that you've been saying it. Chokla. Okay, I'm going to make that my ringtone. <laughs> 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 
I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I'm that my white boy comedy is finally the play that finally, funky like, music, uh, white boy. <laughs> I got two chocolate coming coming at you. No, Jeff, it's pronounced chocolate. Oh, oh, sorry. I got two choke lines coming at you. You're just adding letters now. Now you're just adding letters. Ugh. Guys, I went to Starbucks this morning. I ordered a chocola mocha latte. No! Are we going through colonialism again? <laughs> they spelled my yes! name wrong, ironically. Gee, we're going wait, through wait, colonialism on, George, again. Oh, George, no. Jorge, we just got called friend, out for colonialism. What do you mean again? <laughs> what do you mean again, my friend? Mi amigo. <laughs> what do you mean again? I'm saying America be taking on a lot more, even more. I, I mean, yeah, even more white immigrants. You're right. But like, we never stopped going through fucking colonialization here. Here's the thing. They don't we really do it much now. That shit. They don't really do it much have now in Central seen, and South America. In Central and South America, not much. A casino on one of my reservations because we never stopped going through that shit. Exactly. In the homeland. I'm talking about Latin America. They don't really mm. do it that much. Don't do what? Casinos? We Chocolates? What are you talking about? Colonialism. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Monroe Doctrine, a.k.a. You, just, you guys can't colonize, but I can. We Okay, so Native Americans, we were too friendly to the white people. We didn't run them out of our land. Y'all were like fucking hard. Y'all were ready. Y'all had your spears and your fucking machine guns ready. And you ran those white people right the fuck off back to the north. We freaking made up El Dorado to be like, hey, yeah, if you go into that dense forest. Yeah, you'll find that city of gold. You uh, uh, conquistadors that totally did genocide on our people. Yeah. Yeah, go. go. You'll find it. You'll find it. I love find how it. silent Aiden and, Aiden and Jeff are right now. This is hey, called it's called white guilt. Jeff, it's Jeff, called white right? guilt. Jeff, 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 the Jeff, white guilt. Jeff, hey, hang on, Jeff, hang on, Jeff. hang on, hang on, hang on. The white guilt is palpable. Yes, right but I have to talk to Jeff. <laughs> it's amazing. I have to talk to Jeff, <laughs> sir. Yes. Go ahead, Jeff. I just got a letter it's in fine, the mail I'm used to it, about a magical boy. golden country. Called El Dorado. <laughs> Should we it's be talking El about this on the podcast? It's El Dorado. Yo, bro, just just email that to me. Oh, we can talk sorry, about it later. it's crossed out. It Fuck. says El Dorado. It's a game. You don't understand paradise. how awkward this is, Aiden. I know you're young, but but they just had really important talk about colonialism. I was giving them space, and then you just busted out our secret conspiracy to take their gold. That's <laughs> fucked up. And Jeff, we already knew about Jeff, that. I just got a about letter that. about El Dorado from the Mexicans. They El sent Dorito, it to me, and they said there was to gold. Go to the fucking Lay's factory. Is that where you're going? Because that's actually, I don't know, but it says there's gold. We you don't sound like Jeff. In town. You don't sound, don't like, sound Jeff like Jeff either. Jeff. Here, let me hang on. Let me sound like Jeff. I'm Jeff. Oh, oh Jeff. Hey, sorry, uh, sorry. They switched Hold the name on, to yeah, El Dorito um, because white folks love them them tasty, tasty triangles. <laughs> And right. uh, so people are going to descend on a town in the Midwest. Use is salt. Wait, they're going to descend Guys. on Plano, Texas, or wherever they make tortilla Jeff, triangles. Jeff, Jeff, and and that's when Latinx people will spring their trap. That's when the Native Americans will will bring out their spirit warriors or something that's not less racist. I don't know. And they'll just <laughs> they'll just descend and take out those those Dorito loving white. What? Wait! Can I say Jeff, white? Wait! Jeff. <laughs> wait! Jeff! Wait! I need. Mean, hang on! I have a question! I have a question! <laughs> Jeff! Spirit Jeff, it's warriors. okay. I give you a whitey's pass. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a good plan. I think you guys really have something with this. You did a good job. <laughs> Jeff, I give you a whitey's pass. It's fine. <laughs> I'm too drunk for this. Jeff, you can call me Whitey. <laughs> okay, I'm a double agent uh, for for people of color, Aiden. I should have mentioned this on the on the questionnaire, Jeff. Uh, Jeff, but Jeff, I'm gonna be coming down on you hard. It's gonna be virtue signaling, like every Look, week. as long as you kill me, as long as you kill somebody, okay? <laughs> to stay to stay a part of this network, Jeff, you must commit a murder. 
You must commit a murder. It's like George that scene in uh George gets a pass. You know Dr. Horrible sing along blog? American. Mm-hmm, Mexican American. Heard of it. Right? Yeah. You're Mexican. Yeah, American. my Wait, ancestors what? already did a lot of killing. It's fine. Sorry, G, <laughs> I missed what you said. I said George gets a pass because he's Mexican American. But Jeff has to kill a man. Jeff has to kill a man. George, you're fine. Mama. Jeff, because of white guilt, you have to kill somebody. <laughs> this I've is killed a man. And that's then, right, because then white this, people can I'm get away with that shit. I, I, I don't, I'm a Quaker. We don't believe that killing <laughs> is ever right. I know, but Jeff, you're white, so you have to kill someone to make up for your crimes. I mean, Obviously. I've been practicing with the, with the mass Wait, effects. Wait, isn't that just circular reasoning? Shooting. But but to do it in real life, I mean, to get jumped into this cool new gang, I'm worried. I don't know, you know if I can. You know what else we can do? Hang Jeff, on. Jeff, you've you killed a virtual boy before. If you're if you're so averse to killing a white person. Oh, they're white. Because oh, that's sure. what you have to. Yeah, it has whatever. to be a white person. Oh, it could yeah, be no, it would be me. Well, actually, It'd be totally, be totally be me. Totally, oh, it would be fine. me, Jeff. You're fine then. You're okay if it's a white person. That you wait, have to wait, kill. wait, yeah, wait, you have wait. To kill a Jeff, white, a Jeff, white person. Didn't you know that, Jeff? Jeff, Sir, don't kill Jeff, a white person. Kill Jeff. the orange person. Yes. Chester yes. the cheetah? If you're so averse to killing one of your own, you must kill the president. Oh. Yeah, we're going to edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> and ICE has already hang answered on, to half of on, the people no, 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 on this, no, no, no. On this Y'all call. Y'all don't have to edit that out. I'm not afraid to die. Here's the thing. Good Jeff, idea. Jeff. The most controversial podcast Jeff, in here's America. The thing. <laughs> You're not white or orange. We can't kill you. Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. I, here's the thing. You. You're Native yeah, American. You. History tells us you're invincible. Guys, here's uh, the thing. Correct. Ice is already after half of the people on this call. So Correct. Ah, God damn. Exactly. Ice. Listen. Why you gotta be bringing honestly, this real shit into my doofy gonna, ass podcast? <laughs> Here's what I have to say. Here's what I have to say. And you know what? President's telling you know it like what? it is You can again. quote me on this. And this is an original joke. No one's ever said anything this funny before. I, fuck ice. <laughs> I like my ice. I, I, like, I like my government like I like my drinks with no ice. Wait. Hell yeah. Hang on. Stop. Hell stop. yeah. Stop. Wait. Did you guys know that British people... Do not drink their drinks with ice. And Aiden just made yes. the whitest, most British fucking joke in the entire goddamn world. That is the best goddamn thing I've ever fucking heard. Oh, what? The no ice thing? Oh, Can you, you piece Thank this you. together in editing so that you have your funny bit? And then we're over here talking about uh, how ice is bad. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like a split screen. We're over here saying, fuck ice, no ice. And you're over here saying, Ma, Pinky is out while I drink my royal soda pop. Or whatever you did. I Hang said, on. fuck ice. Okay. I'm the one that said the, the no ice thing. I said the no ice thing. So, okay. So, this is very important. I have to pee. That's so important. That's, okay, guys. Yeah, be human G first. G the P. No, G okay, the P. That because no, G fuck the... you, fuck you. Edit that out. G the <laughs> P. G the, the P. P. G is in like toilet. flashing back to kindergarten right now. G the P. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> I'm having a good time. I'm having a great time. We should wrap up soon. Okay. Do you want to do another prompt? No, maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Cause I had a I had a good one the other day. Okay. That's fine. Was it stuck hair? No. Oh, a burger for Borgs. Borger. Borger? <gasps> yeah, Borg-or? I said if giant fish kept humans in aquariums, what would they feed us? And G said Borger. And I said, like a burger for Borgs. Or the burger, the boogers, Borgs get. And then I said the boogers, Borgs get is a fun tongue twister. Uh, Also, more things to do in the tub. I spend a lot of time there. Okay, I came back. Hi, what did I miss? Wait, nobody nobody told me that we'd reached 69 followers before? 69 members? 
on the Facebook page? Yeah, that was. I made a post shit. about it. Twitter. Holy. I shit. never got notified of it. Oh man, fucking Facebook. I got zucked. <laughs> got zuckened. Zuck ice. That sounds like it could be Zuck a thing. ice. Guys, you know what? Zuck ice. Hey, I think we're coming near a close. Jeff has, I think, one more prompt for us. This has been such a fun first uh, new cast episode. What the fuck, man? Wow. Jeff, your yeah, prompt, please. Um, uh, uh, I can't decide. I've got so many good ones. Uh, if giant fish kept humans in aquariums, what would they feed us? Probably lobsters, right? Because lobsters are basically no, bugs. And if giant you. fish were taking care of us, they would have access to lobsters and would be clearly superior to us and thus would have to feed us something like bugs like we might feed them. Legit. If they were small fish that we were taking care of. Legit. If, we get, if we're forced to eat lobsters, I'm starting the revolution. I, I'm going to make my ancestors proud. I, viva la revolution I, and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, tell me more, George. <laughs> You see, we get waterproof vacuums. Oh, my God. Okay? We suck up all the water. <laughs> okay, but first we have to get out of the Air the dwellers rise, area. bro. Hang on. They're not waterproof vacuums. They're just water vacuums. <gasps> We're already one step closer. <laughs> yes, and then that way they short circuit while we're vacuuming the water. Everyone in the water dies, including the fish, and then everyone's happy. Oh shit! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I understand what you're doing here. You're you're envisioning these giant human aquariums as having like small land mass and a lot of water. I was thinking it'd be dry like an iguana, but of course, giant fish wouldn't give a shit about us. So they'd they'd give us like teeny tiny parts of land. We got to spend oh, I'm most imagining of our time like SpongeBob, but I like yours better. And and then we get the bright idea to create vacuums to suck all that water out, pour extra water into the fish water and then we put poison in that water or whatever you said and all the fi oh short circuit you short circuit the fish yes i like this movie let's yeah, do no this i'm saying too, that though. hang on in my movie we're all already underwater we invent so the vacuums but we forget to make them waterproof we Aiden. make non-waterproof water vacuums they short circuit killing us and the fish everyone's happy isn't that just so water world before I give my answer to that, I need you to understand how scarred I am by that question and by all of your answers. <laughs> what? By giant fish and borders and they feed us? Yes. Borders. Look, I may have killed a man, but I am a small marshmallow, and you all We all are live the in worst. a tank. Yes. Now it's a simulation. That said, my answer to that question is if fish kept us in aquariums like we keep fish in aquariums, we'd all drown. Oh my god. Bruh. That's why I thought we must have had gills. I didn't genetically even think about that. <laughs> or 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 it's a terrarium and not an aquarium. But I like right. the idea that it's water world in there. And and what do they feed us? Of course, if it's a simulation and these are giant mind fish, they feed us fear and pain and suffering. Just like Whoa. the matrix. Okay. And that's why we have to this love sounding, and suck up all that water with our, our purity and our love. And more, this is sounding more and more like, like the fish are getting back at us for keeping them in those tiny ass bowls for thousands of years. Well, because the bowls are too small and the fish always grow too big for their bowls. This time they really grew too big for their bowls. <laughs> they finally managed to do it. We We're overfed them because we didn't bowl. care enough. And then they took over. They took over. They flooded the whole world. Jesus fish. Think about it. Flooded the whole world again. Flood part two. Wait, wait. Little bits of land mass that humans can survive on top of. Now Malthus ass overpopulation. Talk about it. What, what is about Jesus global fish warming, everybody? We're all Jesus underwater. <laughs> what if space is an illusion projected upon us by the giant fish people through this atmospheric spheroid aquarium? Okay, Good, okay. Jeff. This is why we're paying you. I have an, I have an idea. Wait, I have an, I have an explanation. Paid? Yes. <laughs> oh, come on. I need the money more than you guys. Just no, we have to give the pay. We Just have to give shrimp. all the focus and attention to the top head. <laughs> the top but head. But I'm the top second head top head. Hang on. 
So the head on top. We have to give all of our focus to the head on top. Sorry. Uh, Aiden, oh, hold on. You need to give space to G to, to rail against the white man. <laughs> yes, please. G, please. <laughs> no, I done. need to be railed against, as Hang does on. Jeff. I'm done because, like, every time I rail against the white man, some white man got to come out of the woodwork and tell me how wrong I am. Eh, There's it's no fine. white man We're here, used G. To it, it's remember? Safe. We're used to it. <laughs> that if anybody in our fan base or our listeners do that shit, they're gone. You yeah, are if not a white man in our fan hang base. On, fuck you. Hang Get on, out. Hang on. I need to. I I'm need to understand Je- how goddamn Jeff. funny it is that George is the one that just said that we're used to it. <laughs> it's true, right? You mentioned colonialism. Colonialism isn't just a thing that happened and it's over, or that it happens if we like are treat a Latin American country badly or whatever. You know, support gangsters or whatever we do. It happens every single day in your life, in your media, in your, your, I'm not trying to mansplain to y'all, but I mean, like for, <laughs> for if we have that asshole white boy listener, not only, fucking, not only mansplaining, but also white mansplaining. Yes. Right. White, white <laughs> mansplaining. But I just want that, that asshole to know that like, we don't tolerate that shit. Like. Correct. We, but also, we wanna Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Make this time a time for you to Jeff, do what you Jeff, do. So Jeff, 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 Jeff. Jeff. This Jeff, is a comedy Jeff. podcast. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. The McElroys would be Got proud. <laughs> the Mackel boys would be proud. Hey, hey, hey! Listen up! Listen up! Virtual I appreciate signaling. what Jeff just said. Virtual but I, signaling. I do too. No, no, yes, I am not trying to time. like dismantle anything that was just said. <laughs> I just I'm wasn't just listening funny. to any of it and taking any. I took none of that to heart, and I'm going to make sure not to follow any of those things. Although I couldn't even make sure not to if I wanted to, because I wasn't <laughs> listening because I'm an angry white boy. Hey, I try to keep I you in check it. whenever we chat. That's important. It is important. I I I just want to uh, give props to to G and George and Aiden for bringing us all together. I think we're we're gonna have a yeah. Good Jeff, dynamic. you're the only one of us four that has nothing to do with all of us talking right now. <laughs> I'm just into it, y'all. I'm I'm appreciative of everybody's input and insight, and I think by the end of this, however long this lasts, Aiden is gonna be a big grown up boy. With lots yes. of ideas, oh my and God. I will have solved yeah. racism. You will have solved racism, racism, of course. Yes. No, he I mean, was a white a person. Solved. I will solved. solve racism Actually, with solved. my podcast. You know what? Leave it up to the white man. Fuck yeah! Leave, Leave it, it to, to the, the white, white man, man to Make solve racism. Because listen, fuck yeah! I mean, at they the did end, a good job with at the end of the day, right? They eventually stopped doing that. Jeff is zero percent of this podcast. I'm ninety percent of it. She is. Eight, George is two. Yo, you are giving me way too much credit. No, G is clearly eight percent. George is clearly two percent. No, Jeff no, 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 is zero percent, no, 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 no. and I am ninety percent of this, this podcast. Point. G is nine percent. So I'm gonna be the one to solve racism. G is nine percent. G is nine percent. Then Yo. what? Then what am I? You're still the ninety. You can't okay. take one Hang away on. from yourself. I already, I like think... an asshole, thought it would be funny to give you a smaller hey, number than G. Hey, hey, wait, hang on. Y- I know that y'all are, like, being, like, super nice or whatever, but my anxiety is, like, shooting through the roof right now. With y'all complimenting me, see, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. Oh, we've all been lying. This has been false. <laughs> Everything else yeah, we G, tell is Yeah, G, don't worry. Like we don't president. believe any of these positive things we're saying about <laughs> to you. Quote, to quote William we're, Shakespeare, we're like, I bite my thumb at thee, okay? I Thank bite you. my thumb Thank at thou. Thank you very much. Yes. yes. Please thumb insult bin me. bit. Insult the shit I've been out biting of it this whole time. That's what I'm used to. Jeff, I'm that's why your audio has been so weird. Everyone me! <laughs> it's fine. So, like President Tell It Like It Is from the future, uh, we just want to say you guys are great. You work hard. You you play hard, you love hard, and uh, all your ideas. Wait, are, good are we ideas. all harder, better, faster, stronger? <laughs> sure. Kanye are we sponsored by Daft Punk? Uh, dibs on harder. We're trying to end the podcast, George. <laughs> which one he wants to be better? Which one he wants to be faster? Which one he wants to be stronger? I already got harder. 
<laughs> better? I call better? Wait, hang on. Hang on. What do you mean you got harder? I mean, I called harder. I got harder. Oh. My dick is the hardest goddamn one on this podcast. That's fine, but I'm just saying that if we're tagging ourselves as harder, better, faster, or stronger, I got harder. All right, fine. I'm fucking faster, I guess. I think the ratio oh, geez, of decision faster. making of Aiden to to y'all and me sh- sh- that ratio needs to flip at some point. <laughs> Because he's getting 90%. Yo, I'm talking union. Yo, I, I'm doing meetings yeah. in the See, break room later. Hit yeah, me. Yeah, we can Jeff, make it to Jeff, where Jeff, we're going to pay more than Jeff, is. Union busters are a thing. I don't think it's going to work, dog. Aiden wouldn't do that to us. Union busters. Jeff, 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 I would never bust your union. Hang on, hang on. Jeff, I would never Aiden bust your union. Aiden is a 19-year-old white boy. He didn't know how to bust a union. Y'all, come on. We got it's to easy. Yeah, but, but his dad got the company Busting a union is just busting him. a move. Busting a Listen, union is just busting a move. As, as a 19-year-old white boy, as an attractive 19-year-old white boy, <laughs> I could never engage in Debatable. racism, ageism, Debatable. or sexism. And so... I just want to say that as someone who's receiving 90% of the pay of this company. (laughs) Hey, 90% of zero is still zero. (laughs) It's the principle of the thing, George. It's the principle, George. Got every month, but that's fine too. George, I'm shattering the glass ceiling by giving G 8%. Wow, you have a glass ceiling. ceiling? The glass is pouring down on you. That's yours. You get to keep Is the that. glass ceiling, does that refer to non-binary people too? You know what? Absolutely. Absolutely. Honestly, I don't know. I'd have to retake my I sociology thought so, class. And I thought it was appropriate to use, but I wanted to ask. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah. No, it absolutely does. Uh, once again, I want to remind people, do not put alcohol in your butthole. Bad idea. <laughs> Just Unless, once again, right. I want to remind okay. you that Jeff has no idea what he's talking about or how much fun am, that would be. No, Jeff and is so, right because I am the living testament tonight <laughs> of do not put alcohol in your butthole. Did you do that, G? I did you put alcohol in you your butthole? Oh, on camera. You didn't see me do that? No, no, no it blacked out for me. <laughs> I have sensor yeah, mine, software. Quote unquote. I saw like a bit of well. a black hole for a while. Is that is that the no, blackout that you're it. talking about, it. George? I was showing you. I was showing you. Correct. Oh, no, no, I got I got oh, sensory ew. software. I didn't see nothing. That's you know, I'm honestly, kind of, and I'm kind of into it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the black hole has yeah. a whole new meaning. The black hole. Yeah. Okay. I know we say not to yuck on people's yums, but I'm gonna yuck on that yum. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Don't I agree yuck with on you, my George. yum. I agree. <laughs> I'm sorry. That butthole's I'm, gravity I'm really is so powerful right okay. that you know all what? light bends into been... it. Guys, we've been recording for an hour and twelve minutes, and we need yeah, to no. fucking stop. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. Okay, we're gonna close the episode. Um, uh, that was a podcast that we just did for you. G, welcome to the team. George, Jeff, Hi. welcome back, and to the team full time. G is damn. Not G's, just one G. <laughs> but you Jeez know, nuts? oh great, my other AirPod. George died and I now. are technically clones. Jeez of nuts. G's. Never make jokes about G's again because that's my name. <laughs> Fuck you. G's. Because that's my it's name. Fuck. <laughs> young G's. <laughs> Look, I've had an entire liter of wine, so y'all can just be a little forgiving, okay? I'm more of a follower I- of wine. Preferer. <laughs> I'm more an I observer of drunks. to our G overlords. Ah, yeah. I, you know, okay. and their clone armies. I, for one, am grateful that I'm our G overlords Gary. allow us to have education. I know, hey, I know it's the end of the episode, but I'm opening another bottle of wine. Open so. it up, oh, child. Man. Open it up. Yo, it's wine time. Yo, end the it's episode wine time, before baby. I embarrass myself. Several Seriously. Several bottles a night <laughs> till I fall. Into my grave. Bada bum bum bum. How many Thank bottles you. of wine have you had tonight? Two liters. <laughs> You're getting out of tempo. You're getting out of tempo. It's okay. You can answer me. I have another liter bottle of wine. It's a big ass fucking bottle of wine. And with that, 
Hey, the wine. Wait, hang on. Who's singing right now? Who said who said wine? That, that was Jeff. Wine. Now it's time to close out. Time and wine kind of okay. rhyme a little bit, so you it's You know fine. what? You know what? What? Tomorrow is Saturday. I'm drunk. Y'all need to shut the fuck up so I can go to bed. <laughs> All right. All right. Good I'm going to finish night. this up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Housekeeping. Our Facebook group is Good Idea Podcast. Our Twitter is at Good Idea Cast. Our Tumblr and Instagram are also both at Good Idea Cast. Our Gmail is Good Idea Podcast at gmail.com. We are on the Sinister Parent Company Network, which is at Sin Parent Co. on Twitter. Um, and we have a couple other shows that we do most notably and most recently. This is the one we're just going to cover today, I guess. Uh, will be something wonderful right away. Uh, not will be, is. Check that show out. God, it's so fucking fun. It's our new long form improv podcast. You can get it most places that podcasts are found. And it's just a hoot and a holler and a riot. And George G and myself appear on this show from time to time. Absolutely. Correct. Gosh, darn it. Thank you so much, you guys, Joy for listener. helping me make uh, this show happen. Uh Oh, boy. OK, if you enjoyed this episode, whether it made you laugh or made you cry good tears, God, I hope it made you cry. Share it with someone you know that might get the same enjoyment out of it that you did. It'll make them happy, and watching our listener count go up makes our week. Uh, we're on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, Libs, and Spotify. Anywhere you get your podcast, whatever. Hey, G, what was your favorite idea of the episode? What's your like favorite thing we talked about? Killing white men. Can that be said? Can, can I say that? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> it's like killing white men killing white men all right there you go killing them george softly. you're up Wait, hang on hang guns. on this is very important killing hold on guns. this is very important I, the most <laughs> the most important thing that you need to get out of this episode is that i am a native american non-binary woman female i'm not a woman non-binary female person who needs validation, and you should follow me on Twitter at G underscore the <laughs> underscore B. <laughs> you really should follow oh, at yeah. G underscore the G underscore B. B. They're a great Twitter because account. Because I'm hilarious! G, uh, G's application to join something wonderful right away is how they ended up on this show, and I believe their what are you bring to the table uh, section said just, it, it was like talking about their demographics and being a non-binary native american individual and then it said also i'm fucking hilarious uh, no, i'm pretty no yeah i'm pretty sure yeah i'm pretty sure that's what my, it said my what do you bring to the show was like 90 percent. also i'm fucking hilarious yeah that was part of it i thought you also said that i i thought you had also talked about your demographic th demographics there but i don't know i probably did I probably did. You definitely like, didn't emphasize them as like the main thing. I just thought it was funny that you wrote I'm yeah. fucking hilarious as like your entire your sort yeah, your whole sort of like right. creative My therapist repertoire. is trying to make me realize that I am fucking hilarious. You are. You are. And so I have to acknowledge that. You do. I'm You're proud of you. I also want to give you props oh, for so having nice. the courage to to okay, pick but like killing are, white men is your your pick. Wait, props or props? Actually, like super nice to me right now, and I'm going to go to bed now because I'm drunk. So. Okay, G. Good night. Stop. Love you, buddy. And sign off. Sleep well. No. George, the uh, human uprising. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> over the giant fish people. Yeah, yes. the human uprising. Gee, hey, can you upload this audio to the same folder? Yes, I will. I'm not going yet. Oh, I thought you were. Oh, I'm okay. Just, I'm sorry. I'm just, no, I'm not going yet. I'm just trying to make you guys stop like talking about me and being nice to me because I'm not used to that. <laughs> Everybody's been mean to me my whole life. It's fine. Hey, hey, if I have to deal with that, you have to deal with that. Yeah. If there's if, anywhere where that should be allowed, it's in the pr self promotion. If George section. and G have to deal you know with I mean? us white men <laughs> You're being literally so plugging fucking nice right to now. them. So we're the worst. George Jeff. likes. George likes human uprising over the giant fish. It's hard because because I can't remember what happened earlier, but I really I am glad that that we brought some truth and that we we helped people, you know. Don't butt chug, it's dangerous. 
Uh, or do it uh, could be pretty fun. We need a truth Maybe. telling president. I probably truth telling no, president, like, honestly. Really the president like, that tells it like, like it is. They're like, colonialism, we still doing it, needs to stop. Here are my ideas about how it needs to stop. You know, like, like I like that we're addressing important things in between all the goofsterism. Yes. Which is also good. I think it's my turn. And, and for that, I just what have to say. What is your favorite idea? Nuclear chocolate! <laughs> yes! <laughs> you see, Nuclear that's the secret chocolate. kill streak in the new Modern Warfare game. That's the new secret kill streak in the new Call of Duty. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. Uh, pick of the oh, week, man. everybody. I thought G. maybe Soul Calibur, you'd like wing it at the end. <laughs> Fatality or whatever that shit is. <laughs> G, piece of guys, media you'd we, recommend or something else you'd recommend for this week? Media? Okay. Podcast. This, okay. So this week I did not have this prepared, but if we're gonna do this every every other week, I'm going to have something prepared next time. But this week, I am going to recommend my cat's Instagram because he is my baby. So my cat's Instagram. Go follow him on Instagram, which it's, is at uh, g Remus underscore the underscore, underscore b on Twitter. No, it's <laughs> it's Remus underscore with underscore catitude, like C A T. I T U D E catitude like attitude. Um, That's good. I like that. And I love him. Go follow him on Instagram because he's just this beautiful blue eyed Siamese. Fantastic. George, how about you? I'm uh, I'm actually not going to shout out a piece of media, but I'm going to shout out an organization because I kind of owe them. That's perfect. It's uh it's called MASA, a, uh, which stands for uh, Mexico Americanos saliendo, saliendo adelante, which is a, uh, a uh, local uh, organization where where I live, and it uh, helps uh, uh, local Latinx uh, 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 businesses uh, try to get uh, established. Oh. They're a nonprofit organization. That's awesome. Can you say the name of that one it's more time? Badass. It's in Spanish, so I got to reread it. That's okay. It's a uh, masa, uh, which stands for Mexico Americanos saliendo uh, adelante. I'll uh, I'll uh, send you a link. You can put in the. Uh, description okay thank you george hell yeah no problem. i love that masa is also the cornmeal used to make tortillas that's really cool dude that's oh, so crap. fucking I epic i just realized that i just realized that dang it <laughs> yeah it's cool man god damn jeff how about you piece of media oh shit i've been binging through doctor who again i'm back up to the 12th doctor love her jody what's her name and uh, uh, yeah, i'm re re-listening Jody Whitaker, yeah, she's so good. Anyway, uh, and also I'm listening, re-listening to the Dresden Files for like the third, second, third time. And man, that's a good book series. Uh, it's a little awkward at first. Character's a little problematic in the first two or three, but then he kind of grows as a person and is less gross or whatever. He has weird thoughts about women. Anyway, it's a great series. Check it out. Super good. Hell yeah. That's it. Oh, should I do a pick of the week? All right, my yes. pick of the week is going to be something wonderful right away. Do me a favor and go subscribe to that and listen to it. My favorite episode, I think, is Pastry so far, but I haven't heard episodes <sighs> that's coming. I'm, I haven't heard the episode. Wait, that's, that's the only episode I'm not on yet. Gee, I haven't heard the one that's <laughs> coming good, out though. tomorrow, You're gonna so I don't know if that one's my favorite episode. It might annoy you because so much of it includes pastry-related raps. So much. Well, I think most pastry, Wait, like any sort of pastry with a filling, might be a pastry related wrap. Like you might have like it, it's wrapped around the filling, sort of situation, like mm -hmm. a cannoli, maybe it's a filo dough wrap. Yeah, maybe. Now I want a long john. Thanks, Aiden. You guys ready to end this episode? You feel good about this? So ready. Yes. Me too. Yeah. Hey. hey. That. Hey. Hey. That? Hey. 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 <laughs> hey. I'm just wait. I'm trying hey, I'm stop. trying to I'll stop. Cut I'll you. stop. Okay, thank you. That was a good idea. Just waiting for G to say hey again. We're done here. Hey. <laughs> We're done. This is it. That's all that's all there is.
This episode is really interesting too because it just sort of ends. 